So I just picked up another mushroom from Florida Shroom King. Look at this thing. Look at this. This is the lion's mane mushroom. Now I've used lion's mane mushroom in the past for loads of different recipes. I've made steaks out of them. I've made like roast beef using them. A lot of times I've used dried mushrooms for them. But one thing that I wanted to try, especially with a mushroom of this size, was to see if we can pork belly it. <laughs> I wanted to see if I can turn this into bacon. Uh, one thing about the lion's mane mushroom, it gets its name from the mane that it grows on the outside. You can see it almost feels furry. Uh, but these little furs are actually connected to tissues that are within the mushroom. Uh, and these tissues kind of grow consistently like meat fibers. They really do have that same, same type of texture, same type of like almost like poolability that you would get out of meat. It's really cool. It's probably one of the meatiest mushrooms that I know. By tomorrow, I think, we should have some sliceable bacon. So let's get moving. First, let's make our broth. Okay, so for the marinade, we're gonna start with a pork flavored broth mix. This is just vegan pork flavoring. It's, um, you can find this at a lot of Asian markets. I also want a half teaspoon garlic powder, half teaspoon onion powder, and we're gonna do a teaspoon of my mushroom seasoning. Now, this is magic mushroom seasoning. I love this stuff. You can find it on Amazon. You can also find it at most Asian markets. Check it out. I mean, it really is like the secret ingredient to making everything taste meaty. It's really wild. I'll leave a link in the description below for my Amazon store where you can pick this up. I put it in everything. I mean, literally everything. Now we just need a teaspoon of smoked paprika, teaspoon beetroot powder, now for the wet ingredients, we need a teaspoon liquid smoke, two tablespoons of a sweetener. I'm gonna use a light agave, but you can also use maple syrup. That's what I normally would use, but I'm out of maple syrup. Thought I had some, but I don't, so this is gonna work perfectly fine. The maple does add to the bacon flavoring, especially if you're used to like maple flavored bacon, uh, but the sweetness is really what's important. That gets that pork flavor. And now we're just gonna use about two tablespoons of soy sauce. This is like a low sodium shoyu. And now I have a cup of melted coconut oil. Uh, we're gonna pour about half of that cup in here, reserving the other half for a little bit. And then lastly, I have about three cups of hot tap water. I'm just gonna whisk that up, get all of the, uh, all these guys to kind of mix together. The fat is gonna sit on the top and I'm kind of looking forward to that because I think that's gonna help our layering, you know? Your white layer is gonna have more of that fatty mouthfeel from the coconut oil getting sucked into the lion's mane mushroom. I'm really hoping that's what happens. Uh, so now at this point, I just wanna drop my lion's mane down into the liquid. That looks like a win right there, that's perfect. So at this point, I'm just gonna lightly salt the top of this with some kosher salt. No, I don't wanna, and I know I'm saying lightly and it looks like there's a lot, but honestly, it's not too bad. I think that's gonna be okay. Some of this is gonna get lost here, but I just want enough salt to kind of start pulling out some moisture. Then we're gonna to top this with just a little bit more of that pork flavor mix, uh, just to kind of get that incorporated all the way throughout. And I'm gonna put some more beetroot powder on the top. Hopefully some of this moisture gets pulled out and sucks that beetroot powder right back in. Now lastly, I'm gonna take the rest of my coconut oil and I'm gonna find the small like divots and cracks uh, of the mushroom and we're just going to pour this coconut oil over those cracks. I might even just spoon it in because I wanna make sure that it seeps down into the seams of the mushroom. So that way when this cools down, uh, that coconut oil firms up and solidifies in between the texture, in between the, the little balls of the lion's mane. Now normally I always taste my mixture just to see if I got it close. And I'm, gl I'm glad that it worked out because it does have a nice bacon flavor, so that's perfect. This is the perfect level. This is exactly where I wanna be. I it's already starting to draw out some moisture, so I'm just gonna put a plate on it just to kind of hold it down and keep it in its little mix here. And then we're gonna toss this in the fridge 
overnight. 24 hours in this brine. Tomorrow we're gonna pull this out, finish off the last step. So yeah, let's throw this in the fridge. Hey gang, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. Green Chef is the first CCOF certified organic meal kit company. And Green Chef's options for every lifestyle include keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean, and gluten free. Today I'm gonna make this mushroom curry udon bowl. This sounds awesome. Green Chef makes cooking easy with step-by-step -step instructions, chef tips, and photos to guide you as you follow the recipes. And you get to enjoy your greens while being green. Green Chef is the most sustainable meal kit, offsetting 100% of plastic in every box and 100% of their carbon footprint and emissions. And you all have seen me cook dozens of Green Chef meals. They always come out so, so good. Ugh, I just, I love them every single time. Every single time. I mean, just look at how good this looks. Looks, I mean, it's amazing. Mm. So gang, go to greenchef.com and use code SAUCEDASH130 to get $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. That's greenchef.com using code SAUCEDASH130 gets you $130 off plus free shipping on your first box. Green Chef, thanks for always sponsoring the videos and providing me and all of my followers with these incredible meals. Mm. It's so good. Okay, it's the next day. So at this point, I took it out of the fridge, getting ready to slice it into bacon, but then I noticed that the mushroom was super tender. So that's when I decided to use the trick of pressing your mushroom that I learned in one of my previous videos where I pressed the mushroom to make it meatier. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I have taken the mushroom out of its marinade. I gave it a good squeeze to get rid of some of that juice. And now we are going to press it. I threw this into my tofu press, put it on its highest setting and threw it into the refrigerator overnight. So this now doesn't take just one night, it's going to be taking two nights. Okay, it's been a few days. I just took it out of the refrigerator. It was in the refrigerator for 24 hours in the press. Uh, at that point, I felt like it was pressed good enough. I felt like we had enough of the liquid out to where this would be. We had the flavor there, but it also wasn't just too, just too soggy. Now this looks amazing. I'm trying not to handle it that much because I don't want my hands to like melt it, uh, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of the flavoring went all the way through. You can see some of the fat is kind of pucked in there. So the first few slices probably are not gonna be great quality bacon slices. Uh, but I would say once we get kind of closer in towards the middle, we might start getting some cool marbling. We might start getting some really cool looking bacon slices that we're gonna be able to cook all of this just like chunks. Okay, so these first few were pretty thick. We're gonna go ahead and cut them in about half and see if that little half thinness comes out a little bit more like bacon and if they holds together. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to cook these up. So let's get a pan hot. We're just gonna do a little bit of olive oil. These should have enough like fat in them to where they'll kind of render a little bit. We'll see. Let's throw them in the pan, crisp them up and make some bacon. These looks unbelievable. I can't wait for Monica to try these little burnt ends. This whole thing is just a crazy experiment gone right. Oh my God, baby, are you ready to taste Lion's Made Bacon Mushroom? I'm ready. <laughs> Why'd you yell? Because you yell. <laughs> well, I'm always yelling. <laughs> I, know, I wanted to do the same thing. <laughs> okay, so first I'm really excited because I already took a bite of this and I want you to try it. Get a little nugget of this stuff right here. Nope. Not the, not the paper towel. <laughs> Get a little excited. Boom, cheers. Tell, you're gonna lose. I can't wait. Okay. Just watch her facial expression. Mmm. <laughs> this is amazing. It's like fatty bacon. It, well, it kind of reminds me of like, Brisket. Mm hmm mm hmm Walker. Yeah, or a very tender piece of meat, like a brisket. Yeah, it's super, super, I mm -hmm. mean. So good. So just the experiment there, this stuff right here, the, the lion's mane tops after it's been hydrated is wild. Baby, grab one of these little thin pieces. Now these look awesome. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. That's also like a very tender piece of meat. This but is not like, as like, not as like a thicker, juicy piece. Yeah, this tastes like a mm -hmm. sliced piece of meat. Mm -hmm. um, I really, honestly, it feels, it tastes like a fatty bacon slice. A fatty piece of bacon, yeah. This is probably, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna say it, you can agree with me or not, 
This is the closest that I've ever came to bacon. Yeah, this is very close with um, just the like fatty, all the different styles of pieces. And it doesn't even remind me of mushroom. Like it actually tastes like bacon. Usually you can tell like, oh, there's a little bit of a mushroom taste. Like this does not remind me of mushroom. Like it tastes like a tender piece of meat. They're all really good. All in all, this is amazing. I bagged up a bunch of it so Monica and I can have tomorrow over right. the weekend. I know, yeah, I'm really excited about this. That's it. Lion's Mane Mushroom. It's Florida the best. Yeah, it really is. Florida Shroom King. Thanks for growing me this. I asked them like two or three weeks ago, like, hey, man, grow me a big, solid Lion's Mane Mushroom. And he came through. So, heck yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Boom.